Seven Questions with Stephen Brad. Seven Questions with Stephen Brad. It's another episode of Seven Questions with Stephen Brad. Ah! Look at this guy. Seven questions, but we have amazing guests today. We have, we have four people, two guests, four people. Yeah, this, this, is, is, the, this is the first time we've had two guests. Fanola Hughes, Mara West, you guys are awesome. We love you. Thank you. Woo-hoo! Yes. Uh, Emmy nominated, amazing people and actresses. We are so blessed. Hashtag blessed. Oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. All right, All right, ladies, how are you? How are you guys? Very great. great. How are you? Good. We're amazing. Thank you. Okay. We're better now. This so, is it's better, Zoom, win- better, Zoom windows better can now. be Zoom windows can be a little boring sometimes. This is not a boring Zoom window. <laughs> no, it's not. Not at it's all. A beautiful all Zoom right. window. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? Let me see. Um <laughs> I'll answer. I like <laughs> uh, it's a good start. Like double, double chocolate with chips in it or mint chip. Ooh, Ooh a lot of chocolate. That's so chocolate favorite. ice cream with chips, chocolate man. chips in the ice cream. Sure. Yes. It has to be. Uh, yeah. Anything that's got crunchy, but I like um, the thing dairy free. I like the um, coconut ones. Oh, good. Oh, I like it. Very yeah. nice. I don't like okay. dairy so much. I know. More okay. west. Oh, uh, Bradford, you know Friendlies. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You know yes. Friendlies from because of where we're from. Now, so it's an ice cream that I can't really get here, but um, my favorite ice cream is Friendlies Black Raspberry. Mm-hmm. Ooh. They don't have that? black raspberry ice cream out on the West Coast. It's that beautiful purple flavor. It's amazing. Uh, it's, I love it. But out here, I'll just have, you know, chocolate. It's fine. Oh, black raspberry. Friendlies Black Raspberry. You're settling yeah. on chocolate? That's what you settle with? Chocolate? I'm not settling. It's good. Okay. Come on. What's so, yours? Well, I like mint chip or cookie dough. Oh, yeah. Cookie dough just makes me feel like, uh, I don't know. Like, I don't want to eat. I don't know. I don't like cookie dough. My kids right. love that. All right. Say goodbye to Morrow West, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Bradford, what do you like? Sherbert? Sherbert. <laughs> <laughs> Hagen-Dazs sorbet. That's good. (laughs) Funny word. I'm as red. I'm as red as freaking sherbet right now. What past fashion trend do you miss the most? I'm gonna date myself a little bit, but do you remember um, when girls would put their 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 jeans into their socks? Oh yeah. (laughs) That was That's amazing. Great. It's, it's safety. I loved that, and I would like to start doing that again. You should. Well, I mean, the kids are wearing floods now. Yes. They're wearing floods on purpose. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's a flood? Like what's a flood? High water. We call them high waters. Oh, that high is, waters. Uh, short just pants. Just like short short pants. Yeah. yeah. Short pants. Yeah. Three quarter. <laughs> Cla- clam diggers. Do we call them clam diggers? No, and that's not clam digger, dude. No. <laughs> what's a clam digger? Clam diggers are like halfway up your calf. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. You know, like Kit, Kit Schreiner wears clam diggers. <laughs> <laughs> but not on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not on purpose. <laughs> All right, well, Fanola, what fashion Fanola, trend do you use the most? Yeah. Well, I have to say that everything I like always comes back. You know, it's Sweet. weird. But, but I do, uh, there, was, there was a moment in time, it was like probably um, 80s, uh, in, in England, but I think it came over here and it was like a pirate trend. So there were these sort of really fluffy, you know, poofy shirts, like a yeah. puff shirt, like, uh, uh, and, and brocade mules, like brocade mules. And everybody sort of was very piratey. What's a mule? So, yeah. What's a a mule, mule is a slip on high heel shoe, sort of oh. like, um, okay. you know, uh, yeah, you'd have to ask. Your wife would know what a mule is. Okay, you know? I thought it was a donkey. What is? Yeah, what is a brocade? What is a brocade mule? A brocade mule is exactly yeah. what it sounds like. It's a mule made of brocade. <laughs> oh, I, I, don't, I don't know the first word at all. So, you know, yeah. brocade. 
brocade. No, like, it's the fabric that it's, it's like a, a heavy like, floral, oh. like a like like that would be upholstery fabric. Yes, upholstery. Oh, okay. Mary Antoinette, like a Mary Antoinette. Oh, we should have we should have told you. Yes, we should have told you it was seven questions with Dumb and Dumber. That's what we should have <laughs> yes, told you. That's, 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 okay. that's the official title. <laughs> what is the fastest speed you've ever driven in a car? Ooh. Oh, man. Do we really have to say? You, you should be happy to say. I mean, you're Been, here, so it didn't, it didn't go bad. Yeah. Well, you want to go first? <laughs> I'll say that I... I'll, let me preface <laughs> by saying that I'm a very good driver. Yes. Very good driver. And I like to drive fast cars. Yes, me too. And I drive very fast. Yes. So I would, say, I would say the fastest would probably be like 100, 105. That's fast for me. I don't know. Well, you know maybe good. it's not for you. What that's kind good. of road were you on, do you think? What kind of road? A brocade road. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no. I, was on, I was on the freeway. Right. Like, I'm not doing that around town. I'm like, oh, I'm going to Circle K. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, that I, might have been I, the dumbest I, question ever. I've been, I've been faster than that, I think. Uh, like, it was really over 100. Uh, like, the car was shaking, but it was, a, it was a muscle car. Yeah. And it could go, like, really fast. Like, it had, you know, it went all the way around. Yeah. And um, it went up to 11. It would did. It went up to eleven. <laughs> and, and you could really go fast, and I was yeah. behind somebody that was going faster. So, but this was like, um, it's got to be thirty years ago, and you know, I didn't have any responsibilities, obviously, <laughs> myself. <laughs> and um, and it was an it was it was a fast car that had belonged to one of the directors on on our show on General Hospital. And I bought it from her and it was a really nice car. And, and so the first day I got it, I killed it on it. Oh, and it was shaking. I remember thinking, I don't think it's a good idea if the mirror is shaking. Well, Bradford, what's the fastest you've gone? So 1990, well, I got my license in 95. My dad had a Dodge Intrepid. And um, uh, my street. Speed limit 45, but it was straight. It was straight. Mm. And uh, there was, it was a hill, but it was straight. So I hit 100 in my dad's Dodge Intrepid on Pease Road in Meredith, New Hampshire. Um, yeah. And you got fun. the, ooh, your stomach, woo! It was like, it was like yeah. a roller coaster. It was yeah. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I bet you got the air. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah, so that was not the smartest moment of my life, but I'm glad I made it past it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, that's Steve? probably why you drive so slow now. I'm a very careful driver now. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Ooh, this yeah. guy's like a freaking grandpa when we're on the road. It's the oh. worst. Yeah. Well, I got precious cargo, Steve Burton. <laughs> Where would you go if you were invisible? To the White House. I was going to say that too. I'd you know what? What's That's really going on. <laughs> that, you know what? We we might if I if you guys could go, we'd get some real answers, damn it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what compliment do people give you the most? And you don't have to like it. Uh oh. I love your accent. <laughs> yeah, I do hear that a lot actually. <laughs> So quaint. You from Australia? <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys want to give me a compliment? Yeah, I don't feel like I get I, I uh, the best. I get I, I'm going to give you a compliment. You have the best face on camera I've ever seen in my life. It's the best face. It's just, I mean, your face is gorgeous, but uh, but and on camera it just boops. Yeah, it's amazing. That's true. She's well, that's, that, then that's, the, that's the, my favorite compliment. But the one that I get a fair amount is, oh, you're, you're so much better looking in real life. Um, uh, like, or, oh, those, yeah. or like, hey, you're a lot taller in real life. Or, hey, you're a lot thinner yeah. in real life. All yeah, those. That's, that's what about you, Steve? Oh, is it, is it my turn? Oh, oh, they talk about your beautiful blue eyes, Steve. Oh, they do. You're, oh, oh, your eyes. eyes so blue. Oh, I can't. Oh, you're so no, here's what they say. Uh, I thought you were taller, oh. and I thought you had more muscles. What? <laughs> totally. That's so All the good. time. How much, how, how, 
how much more muscles do they want you to have? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Where, would, I don't know. where would they go? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Barely fit through my dressing room. I know. <laughs> what supply in your house are you running low on right now? Oh, um, maple syrup. Ooh, oh, a big love one. maple syrup. I like it's it. hard to get maple syrup. You know, um, yeast. Oh. You can't you, make it. You, all the yeast is gone. You go to the supermarket, there's no yeast to make bread. Everybody's, everyone, making everyone's, bread. everybody's making bread. Yeah. So I have, have a, a sourdough starter, so you don't need yeast. So. Also, I asked my husband to get me some liverwurst, which don't make fun of me. I like it. And there's no liverwurst either. What is reason. that? Is that the it's bologna like, with the spots in it? No, no, it's brown, like brown paste. It's, it's like, like a pate. Pate, pate. What kind of and packaging does that come in? Just like you get it at the deli. You say, I want, you know, three quarters oh. of a pound of boar's head or liver whatever. Worse. And what is, what is it though? It's like just the, like it's a- liver. Yeah, worse. but it's- It's worse than liver. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mixture, uh, you is know, it like pate. A hot, it's like a hot dog, like a bunch of parts in it. Yeah, I think so. I think it's oh. a mixture. I don't really want to just, just just investigate too too much. <laughs> I just <laughs> I just you want to eat it because I like it. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right. Next what have you done that you're most proud of besides having that dog as your pet? Yeah, it's a good dog. He's so sweet. He um, is a good boy. He is a good oh, oh my god! What's, makes what's my that, mouth water. What's that dog's name? Johnny Walker. <laughs> Perfect. <That's> amazing. <laughs> if you would have said Ken Schreiner, I would have been very upset. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. He does, well, he does have the hair. hair but he does um, well, because in, 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 in light of the Emmys and all the, the congratulations that you get for the work that you do, and, and that means something, something different to everybody. Um, so in, in the, lives that, the lives that you've led have been so rich and so wonderful. Like, is there something that, you know, that means the most to you in a way that without having to, you know, open your soul up, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, obviously, uh, you know, my children, I'm most proud of raising my, these, these fine, fine people. Yeah, sure. But however, that's really them. I only can give what I give. It's, they, they are who they are, thank God. So, so I can't take responsibility for that. I would say that I am proud of, um, of training and running for those mar to, for two marathons. Yeah, yeah awesome. I, if, if it's a personal, if it's just me, sure. you know, doing something, I would say that that I, that because that, that's, that's very difficult to do, and I'm proud. I'm proud of that. That's a yeah. huge accomplishment. Good job. Yeah, it sure really is. is. Is there anything besides being a mother, Finola, that you're oh, proud of? No, I think being a mom is like made me the proudest. I must say. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I think, uh, you know, um, wh whatever they do, whenever they do anything that just, you know, when they speak kindly to a stranger or when they just do stuff, you know, it just makes me proud. Not yeah. that I have anything to do with that, but it makes me proud to watch somebody figure out their own development, you know, and yeah. it's like, you know, you sort of see them and it, it, I guess it makes me proud of them, you know, yeah. and, and so that's the kind well, of well, but you are model you are modeling for them. Yeah, you got you guys got It's because you're their mother that they will Yeah, you guys got to take you got to take a little credit. I mean, yeah. you guys are the moms and the moms are truly most important and, you know, it's always great to get a compliment when you're, you know, someone compliments your kid, "Oh, your kid was so respectful yeah. and he opened yes. the door yes. for me." That's awesome. It's you incredible. Know? It's And incredible. that and that's really what means the most is when you get those yeah. types of compliments from other people saying your kid did this and or your kids this way and you know when my son my oldest graduated from high school you know there's certain things that i think about him and and you know that's just me sort of look how i feel about him but the very first word out of the person's mouth who was giving his sort of you know um i don't know what it is it's like the little thing that they talk about the kid yeah um, one of the teachers the first word he said was kind yeah and i was like ah oh, that's yeah and i just thought okay my job's done yeah, yeah. totally of course totally. It's not but it's like wow yeah it, it, that's the goal i mean especially now you know growing up how we all grew up differently and probably went through different times to be able to raise a kind kid in this world is sure a great thing well seven questions with seven two questions. wonderful women and bradford thank you <laughs>
<laughs> hey guys, it's Stephen Bradford from General Hospital. We have an exciting new way to get you backstage at General Hospital on our comedy tours and in our real lives. Exclusive content and a lot of access. Go to stonecoldnewjackal.com and check it out.